So let's bring in Jordan Wester Camp now. He joins us from our studios there in Lincoln, Nebraska. Let's get the most important things first here, Jordan. Give me the best thing you've ever heard about your mustache. <laughs> um, just all the, the nicknames, you know, Wester Stash, things like that. Uh, it's so funny. Um, it seems like after every single game, my Twitter blows up with so many people mentioning uh, my facial hair, which I, I don't think is the important part of the game, but uh, it's, just, it's just funny to see that stuff. I, I disagree with you. It's the most important part. What's the worst <laughs> thing you've heard about it? Oh, uh, I'd have to say just uh, from, uh, you know, the ladies saying that I look <laughs> terrible with all my facial hair. <laughs> well, it's growing now, too. I mean, it's no longer just a stash. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm growing up, so finally getting a nice beard to... Compliment the mustache. Finish this sentence. The thing that will make me shave <laughs> is... 200 yard receiving game. Cause that, that's possible now, man. Are you sure you want to say that? <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, I know it's possible and I think, uh, I think it's time to start cleaning up a little bit. So, uh, you know, if I, can, if I can pull that off, I'll do it. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping this. And, and when you get 200 <laughs> yards, we're, we're, we're bringing this back because it's not crazy. I mean, you had 11 catches last week. What was working so well? Um, you know, Tommy and I, we've got such a, a good uh, connection between, uh, between us two. And uh, he's got a great feel for where I'm going to be on the field. And we just, we just made some great play calls and Tommy threw some great passes. Um, and we were able to just connect all day. His numbers are great thus far. What's different about Tommy this season? His confidence levels through the roof. He is, uh, he's matured so much and every year he just continues to get better and better. And that's, it's awesome to see that he's a, he's a leader on our offense and he continues to do that. Um, so he's just been, he's been, put, been playing out of his mind, putting up ridiculous numbers and we hope uh, he'll, he'll continue to do that. In what ways do you notice his confidence being higher? Just uh, you know, being around him on the field, he, he gives off this vibe like nothing bad is going to happen, it, and it's it's great to have that out of your quarterback, your leader on your offense, because you know there's ups and downs in games as you as you know, and um, he just keeps a cool, collect uh, um, you know vibe, and, it, and it's great because nobody worries, nobody panics. We just continue to play the game, and it's great to see that out of your, your quarterback. It's important you say nobody panics there because you guys do have two losses and both in heartbreaking fashion. So how has yeah. the team dealt with trying to put those in the past? Yeah, you know, uh, week in, week out, there's a new challenge. So you kind of got to forget about that stuff. And, you know, I thought we played some real good opponents, um, especially in BYU and uh, Miami. And, you know, like you said, heartbreaking. We're a Hail Mary and an overtime away from being 4-0. So um, we, know, we know what this team's capable of and we're, we're continuing to keep that positive attitude and we're going to continue to keep that throughout the rest of the season. This week coming up, it's the first conference game for Mike Riley. So has he asked you upperclassmen for some insight on what it's going to be like? <laughs> yeah, he's kind of asked us, you know, what, what this conference is like and in terms of the play and stuff. And we kind of told him, you know, it's a physical, you know, fast paced kind of um, a conference. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to this. This is a uh, like you said, his first game, his first conference game, you know, here at Nebraska, and we, we hope it goes well for him. You have a lot of Illinois roots. You grew up in the western suburbs. And, and let's clarify something right now. You're not a Lombard kid, right? You're a Glen Ellen kid. <laughs> yes, sir. Good Born man. and raised in Glen Ellen. <laughs> Good man. That's where some great films were shot. Like, we don't need to go into that. Uh, you, but speaking of your Illinois roots, so uh, the last time you played in Champaign was in the state title game, correct? Yep, that's correct. And didn't you catch five touchdown passes in that game? Yeah, it was a, it was a pretty crazy day. You know, we were a uh, state championship, and I, had, I ended up having five touchdowns and, like, over 350 receiving yards. What do you remember most about playing in that title game? Oh, I just remember it was like a, a video game going back <laughs> and forth the whole time, the both uh, fast-paced offenses just going back and forth at it, and um, kind of a surreal day. That's just what I remember from it. What's it going to be like for you to play against Illinois in that stadium? Oh, it's going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. You know, really, really familiar with the stadium. You know, played three state title games there. And, um, you know, I took a visit there back when I was a junior in high school. So I'm really familiar uh, with that field. And I know a bunch of guys in the team. Um, their running back actually played on one of the state championship teams that we beat um, <laughs> back in high school. Josh Ferguson, he played uh, on Joliet Catholic, which is the team that we played twice in the state championship. You got a message for Ferguson at all? 
<laughs> no, nah, I hope he's doing well. I'm looking forward to seeing him. That's probably the wise decision. Jordan Westerkamp, best <laughs> of luck in that game. Thanks for giving us some time. Yeah, thank you.